Welcome back to our 5 on 5 again. We're here with Christina Martin from the Red Cross. So we're talking about a blood shortage, a critical need you guys have right now, right now here in southern Oregon. Uh, how quickly does it really take to give blood? Well, we say to give us about an hour to donate blood. Um, that doesn't mean that the blood draw actually takes an hour. The blood draw only takes on average between 5 and 10 minutes. Mm. Um, it's pretty painless. Um, it's, you know, people, I mean, I realize there's not loving needles, but if you like needles, we probably wouldn't want your blood. So, um, Fair point. we, um, you know, the blood draw is pretty quick and you get a little mini physical and, you know, in this heat, it is always cool in the blood drives. We keep it at around 68 to 70 degrees at the blood drive. So it's a mm -hmm. good way to get out of the heat. Sure. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it can you be get a, quite it, simple. it's pretty yeah. simple. And okay. you know, most people, I just say, try it. If it's not for you, I won't bother you again. But mm -hmm. I think most people that try it, and I've been doing this for some time, almost 12 years, and I would see more than 90% of the people that do it for the first time say, wow, that was a lot easier than I expected. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Cause yeah. yeah, I would imagine some people are, are bothered by some of the things that go into yeah, it. And sure. it's good to know. So don't look. So, yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, I know you guys are located, you know, near the old DMV here in Medford. Yes. And, and what other locations well, do you Well, we have? travel all over. My team travels all over Jackson, Josephine, and Curry County. So we're in a different location pretty much on a daily basis. So mm -hmm. the easiest way to find our blood donation, um, place that's close to you or convenient for you is to go to our website, redcrossblood.org, and type in a zip code. You can even say how far you're willing to travel. Okay. Um, or you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS if that's easier. That's 1-800-733-2767. Um, and you can tell them where you live and what day is convenient, and they'll find a location that's good for, for you. Yeah, okay. And, and I know uh, volunteers. So are a huge part of an organization. Well, yeah, we count on the volunteer donations. Um, all sure. of our donors are volunteers. They come in. Um, it's actually a federal law that you must be a volunteer donation because this blood is going directly to patients in hospitals. Mm. So you do have to um, pass a little mini physical where we take your blood pressure, take your temperature, make sure that you have enough iron in your blood um, to make it um, yeah, a viable blood donation. Mm -hmm. And then you ask, we ask you a series of questions to make sure you're a good candidate to donate. Um, so we count on volunteers every day, and not only volunteers to donate the blood, but also to help us with our blood drives. Um, our blood drives are all staffed by volunteer um, people that work in our canteen and registration. We also, so if you can't give blood, you can always volunteer to help. to help. Yeah, okay. you could help out by giving out cookies and juice, mm -hmm. or um, or even working with our chapter services, which does a lot of disaster relief, and of course yeah. there's training in that, and we do a lot of other kinds of trainings of CPR and um, lifeguard trainings and different okay. trainings through the Red Cross also. Wow, very good. Well, good to see you. Well, I know thank we have you, lots Craig. of camera. I appreciate it. I know. Thank right. you. Stay with us. We'll